guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this slip-on shoe or um, ballet shoes for your American Girl doll. And you'll need about 320 rubber bands, give or take, depending on how long you want your or how big you want your shoes to be. And um, everything will be made on the hook. So let's get started. Let's take a single band and loop it four times on a hook. Grabbing two single bands, we're going to pull those two loops onto the two single bands and getting it on a hook. And make sure it's centered and we're going to continue with two single bands creating a single chain 10 loops long. So that's two three This is my last two bands for my 10th loop. I pull it through and I just flip the chain over so my bands aren't twisted when I get it on my hook like that. So you have 10 single chain. We're going to count up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go to the seventh loop. Put a hook through from the top through the bottom and you should have four loops on your hook from the chain plus four from that was on a hook using two single bands at a time we're going to pull those loops through the chain loops and onto a hook so now we have eight loops on a hook taking two more single bands we're going to pull the six front loops onto the two single band so that's two, four, six, and getting the two loops on the two single bands or the four loops onto a hook. So now we have six loops on a hook. Our last two single bands for this set, we're going to pull all six loops onto the two single bands. So that's what it should look like. We're going to repeat that pattern again. Going to the next loop down. Put a hook through from the top to the bottom. Getting four loops on a hook from the chain. And we're not putting it into the same hole that we put our last set. Once again, grabbing two single bands. Pulling those loops and getting them onto a hook attached to the chain getting two more single bands and we're going to pull the six loops off of our hook and onto the two single bands and the two loops that's furthest behind stays on a hook and grabbing the other side of the loops for the two single bands we're left with six loops on a hook grabbing our last two rubber bands for this set and pulling all the six loops onto our hook. So that's set number two. I'm going to continue all the way down to where my slip knot band is, that loop. So once again, go into the next loop and repeat the same pattern. Two single bands, getting the loops off of the chain and onto the two single bands, onto our hook, getting two more single bands, getting the six front loops onto our hook, and grabbing the other side of the loops for our two single bands. And lastly, taking our two single bands and getting all the six loops onto the two single bands, and we're left with four loops. And we'll continue the same pattern till we get to the one with the slip knot band.
So I'm down to the loop where my slip knot band is. Once again, putting your hook through those loops, getting our two bands onto our hook, grabbing two more single bands, pulling the six loops onto the two single bands, and leaving six loops on a hook. Our last two bands for the set, getting all six loops onto the two single bands. Now we'll go in the loop where the slip knot band is. So this is set one. We'll do two more sets, putting a hook through that loop where the slip knot band is and repeating the same pattern. Grabbing our two single bands onto a hook, two more single bands, getting the six loops onto our two single bands and getting the other side onto a hook leaving six loops and our last two bands for the set pulling it through. The last set we're going to repeat we'll go in the slip knot band loop again and repeat the same pattern. Now we're going to go in the second loop. We're not going to go back in the same loop where the slip knot band is. Go to the second one, put a hook through, getting the four loops on a hook, grabbing our two single bands, and repeat the same pattern. And if you're confused, go ahead and watch the video a couple times before you try making your shoe. I'm going to continue up each loop till I get to the seventh loop up here. So just repeat the same pattern going to the next loop on our chain and pulling the two bands and repeating our pattern. If the bottom of your shoe is curling up, you should do one more set on the loop where this slip knot band is, so that way it doesn't curl up, it'll stay straight. Just continue. Up our chain. You should measure your doll's foot to the sole of the shoe to make sure it's about right. And this size is good enough for the American Girl doll. So we're at the sixth loop on the single chain that we first made. I'm on my seventh one, so I'm going to make the heel slightly smaller. So on my seventh loop, I'm going to take my hook, putting it in the loop getting the four bands, grabbing our two single bands. We'll pull the loops onto our hook, grabbing two more single bands, and we'll pull all eight loops onto our hook, making our heel slightly smaller. Now go in the eighth loop. So this is the seventh loop. Go in the eighth one that's right next to it. 
we're just going to take two single bands and we're going to pull the loops for the two single bands all the way through and getting the single band, the two single band loops onto our hook. So you have four loops onto our hook. So that's the sole of my shoe. And now straighten it out. So the sole of my shoe is done and now we're going to loop up to for the second row. So taking two single bands, we're starting a second row, looping it and getting it onto a hook. One more set of two single bands. So getting it onto a hook. So now we have these loops for our second row. Going to go in this loop here next to the um, bands that connected our heel together. Go in that loop and repeat the same pattern. Grabbing two single bands, getting the loops onto a hook, creating eight loops. Grab two more single bands and pull the first six loops onto the two single bands and getting them onto a hook like that, leaving six loops. Grabbing the last two single bands and pulling all six loops onto our hook. The next loop, same thing, just go in, getting the four loops on a hook, grabbing our two single bands, and just repeat the same pattern. If you want the sole of your shoe, the side of it to show a little bit and the sole is a different color for your shoe, then just grab the top two single bands off of the loop and the soles will um, show for your shoes. But I'm just going to go through, all the way through to the bottom, grabbing the four loops and repeating the pattern. I'm going to go all the way around till I get to this side to connect my second row for my shoe. Repeating that same pattern going to every single loop around our shoe. I'm to the front of my shoe and it's going to be too um, curled up for me so I'm going to put my hook through this loop here on the top corner and I'll repeat the set twice. So put your hook through the same loop, um, the same one you did your last set for these two loops and these two loops. Just repeat the same pattern. So before you go on, check your shoes to make sure it's okay, it's not too tight and it's relatively curved for a second row. And if it is, then go ahead and go to the next loops and go all the way around to where we start the second row. But if it's still too tight for you, then go ahead and continue another set on the same loop. 
I'm just going to move on again your shoes the looseness or the tightness might vary depending on the kind of rubber band you use mine's pretty loose so it's not too tight So I just finished my last loop for this row and I'm going to put my hook through the single chain that we looped up. So that's one, two, and putting a hook through like that. So I counted one, two up from where we created the single chain to start the row, taking two single bands and pulling all eight loops on the two single bands. And at this point, you should look at your shoes and measure it to your doll's foot to make sure it will fit her okay. Um, so that's what mine looks like so far on my doll. And I don't want it any higher on this side. If you're using tighter bands, you may need to do another row for your shoes. So since mine is pretty good on both sides for my doll, the side at least, for my slip-on shoes and my ballet shoes, I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot and tie off of that row. And if you need to do another row just from where we put our last two bands, do two single chain with two single bands and then start your row once again. So there's my slip on shoes or ballet slipper so far. Let's tuck in our slip knot band. So what it should look like. So there's my shoes. I'm going to measure it to see where I need to add the bands for the top to cover my toes. And from looking at the shoe, I'm going to start on these loops here, on that loop. So get the foot off of the shoe. I'm going to put my hook through from the inside out getting the four loops onto the hook, grabbing two single bands, and we'll pull the loops onto a hook. Since this is the side of our shoe, we're going to put a hook through the loop right next to it, getting the four loops onto a hook. So we have four loops from the two single bands and now four loops from the rim of our shoe taking two single bands and we'll pull all the eight loops onto the two single bands and getting the four loops onto a hook like that. Now let's go to the next loop on our shoe putting a hook through grabbing two more single bands and getting the loops onto our hook. So now we have eight loops on a hook, grabbing two single bands and pulling the eight loops onto our hook, leaving four loops. And let's continue around to cover our toes. Once again, go to the next loop on our shoes, grabbing two single bands, pulling those loops through and getting the loop onto our hook, leaving eight loops grabbing two more single bands and pulling the eight loops onto the two single bands and getting it onto a hook. So that's what it should look like so far. Let's continue around and when we get to this one we're going to switch it up back to the 
um, same as we did the looping on this side so our shoes look proportional once again go in the loop next to it we're going to pull the two single bands through getting the loops onto a hook leaving eight loops getting two more bands and pulling all eight loops onto the two single bands and onto a hook two more times repeating the same pattern here I am on my shoes so I'll do for this loop and that loop the same pattern we just did So that's what my slip-on shoe or my ballet shoe should look like at this point. Now for this next loop, we're putting our hook through, grabbing our two single bands, and getting all the loops onto the two single bands. Like that. And we'll do it one more time to make it proportional on both sides, taking our last two single bands putting our hook through the next loop on our shoe, grabbing the two single bands and pulling all those loops onto the two single bands and tying it off in a slip knot. And if you want a little decoration for your shoe, I suppose you can use a different color for these last two bands. Otherwise, just tuck it in or you can tie it off in a nice bow or something. So there's your ballet or slip-on shoes and if you're just doing the slip-on shoes you should be done and you can go ahead and make the other side for your doll but if you want the ballet shoes I made a single chain 15 loops long and I made two of them onto my hook so I'm going to show you how to put it on to our shoes so find the sides of our shoes where you want to attach it get it off of your hook putting your hook through the loops on the rim of our shoes grabbing the two loops on our single chain, pull it through, and we're just going to slip the other side of our single chain through so it attaches to our shoes. So there's one side of our ballet shoes. Let's do the other side. Just go across your shoes. I'm going to put it in that loop. Take the loops off of your hook go on the inside out grabbing the two single loops off of your chain and pulling our strap for our ballet shoes through so there's the strap to tie our ballet shoes onto our doll's foot and you can even make a strap to go across the shoes if you feel like it's falling just make a single chain going through our shoes grabbing a single band and just loop however many across you need and then tying it off on the other side for a slip knot if you're not making the ballet shoes and you feel like your doll shoes are falling off so there's the ballet shoes. Let's tie our ballet shoes, putting it on your doll's foot, grabbing the strap, wrap it around the front, I believe, and then tie it to the back. And 
I'm not sure how you're supposed to tie a ballet shoes, but you can tie it however you want. So there's your slip-on or your ballet shoes for your American Girl doll. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.